All right. And my last question, because I because I got you here, we're talking about these passport bros. So here's the scenario, Perry. A passport bro goes to Medellin and he marries Claudia. Right. Mm -hmm. She doesn't get one. He Mm -hmm. gets married, brings her back to the States. Mm -hmm. What is his liability? What are his odds of success? And he mind you, he got married in Colombia. Well, it, it doesn't really matter where you get married because once you're married, you're married. If, if, it's, if, it's, if it's accepted in Colombia as a, as a marriage, and America will accept it also. Okay. So, so he's got a wife in America. The odds of him making it are probably less than if he had an American woman because one, when you come from, what I tell people all the time, you know, uh, Andrea was here a lot. Uh, she used to come all the time. But the problem is, when you take somebody from their environment and you bring them to ours, you don't and you don't really understand what they've been going through. Colombia and, and Medellin is a party city. I'm not talking about LA kind of party. I'm not talking about Miami kind of party. I'm talking about that on the tenth degree above that. They party every day of every month of every year of their lives. It's a party city, you know. So you ain't lying. I mean, that's what they do, you know, it, it, because that's where the money is. That's where the parking in the is. It's a the clubs. It's every day. It's a party. So when you come to America and you say, well, I got to go to work. And they're like, work? Where's the party tonight? Ain't no party on Monday. Ain't no party on Tuesday. <laughs> no, ain't no party on Wednesday. I'm working, you know? Yeah, like we we in Mason. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. We in, we in Westchester trying to make yeah, we, money, you know? You know, but... They don't understand that, you know, because they get bored because they've been partying all their life. So you take a woman who's been hanging out, partying for all of her life, and you say, come here and be a housewife, uh, you got a problem on your hands. You know, you got to have a plan. And then she gets here, she doesn't know anybody. So her whole her whole world depends on you making it happy. You got to, and then you go off to work, well, you got a problem. It's going to be a problem. So you got to understand what they've been going through, what they've been living, you know, I mean, them, them women over there, they get bored quickly. You know, I have, I have a friend now over there and uh, she's got a guy, he's helping her. And, you know, she's, she's a decent girl. I mean, I give her a little credit for that. She's pretty, she's young. So she's a little more, you know, ain't really been out there as bad. But she's been out there, but not as bad. <laughs> but, you know, he says, man, she complaining because she says she bored. I said, yeah, she bored. She's been going out every day. I said, guys come there, they, they fly to Cartagena, they fly to the beach, they take her here, they take her there. Now you got to, you pay for everything, but she's sitting at home, you know, so she bored shitless, you know, but that's what happens. And that's what it would be in America. She would be bored. And that's, that wow. leads to, you got a bored woman, a bored woman with very, very little morals. You got a problem on your hands. You know? So the, mor- the morals are definitely an issue because to us, they're very little morals, but I guess there is just normal. It's normal, right? It's normal. Hmm. I, I, I mean, to them, when I the first thing that I thought was interesting, a girl told me to them, uh, sex was like an American handshake. I said, "What?" She said, "Yeah, sex to me, sex is like a handshake. You hand, you give people high fives. <laughs> I said, give oh, some okay. booty. Yeah. <laughs> give some booty. Like, oh, is that right?" I said, well, can I can a brother get a shake? Did you say, hey, what's up? Get? <laughs> like, you're like, hold on, let me let me get ready. <laughs> yeah, you know, so it's a, it's a different ball game, you know. Like Andrea told me, I was with Andrea for two years. We lived together over there. She had a visa. When I would leave to come back to America, she would fly back to America, you know. She was here taking Instagrams in my house, up on my decks, you know, all that silliness. When we broke up, she called me. I hadn't talked to Andrea in like four years. So she called me about two years ago. She says, Look, uh, I'm gonna make a I'm gonna offer you a deal. I said, What kind of deal are you gonna offer me? I ain't talked to you in four years. What kind of deal is this? You know? She said, Well, I'm in a situation where I need help. So you give me some help, I give you some sex. I said, I don't need sex from you. She said, Well, if you don't give me no money, what good are you? Click. I ain't heard from a sex. <laughs> I said, Hello. Handshake. (laughs) (laughs) And hello to you too after four years. (laughs) Damn. Wow. And again, you just like uh, chalk it up to the game. Chalk it up. Hey, that's you. She said, hey, if you don't give me no money, what good are you to me? Click. 
Click. Call somebody else. She had another speed dial, you know? Yeah, she, she, I'm sure she had a list and she's working her way through it. Well, so, she got, um, she on a spot now. Somebody gave us some money. So, damn. Yeah, that's what, oh, that's right. You know, she had to make payroll. Yeah, <laughs> she was payroll. like, I had to make payroll. <laughs> Let me call pay. <laughs> yeah. I'm looking for my residual on them uh, commercials, bro. Where my money at on them commercials? Yeah, you know. <laughs> I mean, be quiet. I don't want to give no ideas. That's just how they are, man. They, they, they're the different mentality. You know, that's just a big difference. Man. So back to my scenario. Guy goes to Columbia, marries a woman, brings her back to Ohio. Mm -hmm. They're married for seven years, and then she decides she wants to leave. Mm -hmm. What's going to happen to dude? Well, she's going to get spousal support. She's going to get half of whatever his pension went in for those seven years. And if they got kids, she's gonna get child support. I mean, she's but at that time, any once you've been here and you've she's a citizen by now. So she's gonna get the same thing that an American woman would get. If she doesn't have a job, she's gonna get that she's gonna get that spouse support for two or three years. Then they'll throw in some child support if they got kids. And uh, he's gonna get he's gonna be pissed off. But that's what's gonna happen. Man, would it be any different if he did the same, like married the same woman but stayed in Columbia? Do you know anything about their laws? Yeah, it'd be a lot different. Very, I don't know, but very few people pay child support in Colombia. Wow. So, See, only Americans. <laughs> yeah, only Americans. Only Americans. <laughs> very few people pay child support. Colombia, they don't even they don't even stick around to the you pregnant, they gone. We'll see you, you know. <laughs> <laughs> I, you know I, I was in Costa Rica one time, and it's, it's not it's not funny, but it is funny. The girl was talking to me, and she just bust out crying. I said, what are you crying for? She was like, I'm supposed to be married today. I said, what do you mean? She said, I had my, my marriage plan. I had this, this church. I had the address. She said, he's there right now. I said, he's at your church right now in, in Columbia? She said, yeah. I said, what are you doing here? Oh, he's marrying my neighbor. I said, Lord. <laughs> she paid for the church. He married the neighbor. <laughs> wow. I mean, they, they, they're some ruthless people now. I give them credit for that. They, they ain't nothing nice about them when they cutting your throat. They say um, all's fair in love and war, and I guess they ain't playing down there. No, they're not playing down there at all. Wow, man. That's that's what's up, man, because I, so many people get caught up in the American marriage game and, you know, child support and spousal <laughs> support and, you know, losing their stuff. And one of the things I do want to clarify with these young brothers out here and the older ones, I'm like, look, if you ain't got nothing, you ain't got nothing to worry about. If you do have something, yeah, protect yourself. If you have assets, protect your assets. If you have a future, protect your future. Be careful what you're doing. Ladies and men, y'all right. need to be careful. Uh, one, so one thing, one thing I will say on that, I've got a couple of friends of mine and I talk to them all the time because they, you know, they ask me legal questions. Everybody wants free legal advice. You know how that works. Yeah. But I tell them, I said, look, yeah, you probably would have to give away some of your money to your American wife. She, his wife is American, American black. He's black. I said, you're going to probably have to give away some pension. I said, but you're miserable right now. I said, so you got to choose sometimes. You can might give away some pension, but you're going to get happy. So, you know, at this stage of our lives, I'm choosing. I'm going to be happy. But, I, you know, I'm happy. I'm going to be happy. I'm going to do whatever I want because I ain't got nobody to answer to but myself, you know. But I'm telling him, I said, you... You're counting on her not being here. I said, you might die before her. Then she's gonna get all your pension and you ain't gonna never be happy. Right. So you gotta make some, you know, some choices in your life once you get to a certain stage. Because I'm not gonna be with anybody that I'm not happy with. I'm not gonna ever come be scared to go to my own house. And I know a lot of guys who are unhappy and don't go home until the sun go down, until it's time to go to bed, you know. They stay away from their home. They stay away from their home, right. So you got to make choices. You know, I got tons of friends like that. You know, I'm not going to have a house, pay for a house, scared to go home, unhappy at home, and then worry about, oh, I might have to give a half. Take half. Get out of my house. Get out of my life. You know, and that goes for men or women. I don't I, I don't understand that theory, but I had a client tell me one time, I think I can outlive him. She didn't. So, you know, that's how it goes. And you left here mad when you could have just Dealt dealt with that and it moved on. Perry, that's man, and and I think you one of the guys. This is pretty much all the OGs and you know in Cincinnati where we from say this, man. And I say this all the time on this platform. Don't hate the player, hate the game. 
right. learn the game and play to win because that's what everybody else is doing. You mm. get caught up and they get mad. I, I, I can't, you, you tell me so many stories. You got clients sitting there mad and all this. And it's like, you just said, Hey man, just you, you did it. Why are you mad? Right. You mad. And, and you'd be surprised at the, the excuses people make. I had, a, I did a divorce for a guy to Wednesday. He all the way to the end. He was scared to get divorced. He didn't. He, I, I don't know, man. Maybe just when she said she went to Vegas, maybe she just went there to rest. Uh, <laughs> okay. On okay. somebody else's joystick. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Three weeks before you get a divorce, she in Vegas for a week, and then she comes back to the house. Okay, I understand. Uh, by herself, you know. Yeah, she went there. Most people fly to Vegas just to be alone. Okay, whatever. <laughs> <laughs> But people make excuses for stuff that don't even make any sense. You know, I don't think she really loved him. Well, he, well she may not have loved him, but you know, whatever. See, there's a whole lot of loving going on. Whether you know I me, mean? and here you are sitting here, all depressed and all messed up. Right. Mm, mm, mm. Yep. You got to be, and if you find happiness in Colombia, Panama, Costa Rica, Dominican, Philippines, that's what all this life is about. Just finding somebody and be happy. You know. And if you're happy for a year, that's a year you wouldn't have been happy. So you got to, you know, chalk it up and keep it moving. Keep it moving, man. That's what's up. So this